Lord Rennard has threatened legal action against the Liberal Democrats tonight as the party opened a fresh disciplinary process against him. He's been suspended, accused of bringing the Lib Dems into disrepute by refusing to apologise to the women who have alleged that he sexually harassed them. Lord Renard denies the allegations and complained that he'd been subjected to a lynch mob mentality within his own party. Our political editor Gary Gibbon has this report. Lord Renard's day started with an ultimatum from his party leader. Apologise or you lose your place in the party. No, no apology, no whip if you like. Um, that's my view. Lord Renard didn't issue an apology and a rules committee met and decided to suspend his membership of the party. He's already been investigated over allegations of sexual harassment. Now he's being investigated over whether his failure to apologise for past behaviour has brought the party into disrepute. The investigation now underway could end up with the expulsion from the party of the man who won the Liberal Democrats by-election after by-election and launched many Lib Dem parliamentary careers. The leadership's hoping that even at this late hour, Lord Renard might apologise to the women concerned in a way that closes the matter down. But in a statement this afternoon, Lord Renard appeared to rule that out. In his statement, Lord Renard said, I will not offer an apology to the four women complainants. I do not believe that people should be forced to say what they know they should not say or do not mean. But he also said, if ever I have hurt, embarrassed or upset anyone, I regret that they may have felt any hurt, embarrassment or upset. He began his statement, It is impossible to describe how enormously distressed I am by this situation, and I am certainly too ill to attend the House of Lords today. He wrote of the great pain he'd experienced because of allegations against him starting in 2010. The depth of depression, he said, and the consideration of self-harm is difficult to describe. He said he'd been subjected to a humiliating trial by media, and a lynch mob mentality from some in the party. One of the women who'd complained of Lord Renard's behaviour said she'd suffered too. I can totally understand how he's feeling because I too have struggled throughout this whole process. Dating back actually all the way to the original incident, I found my dad in floods of tears that night saying I've wrecked my political career. And even and through this process since last February, I've struggled with my emotions, been to doctors, been through counselling. And the party has offered counselling, and I suggest that he contacts them too. On a personal level, I'm really sorry for Lord Reynold. I think this is a personal tragedy, but it could all end tomorrow if he apologised. I think it's the least he can do, and I think, you know, really for his own sake, that would be the best way forward. But Lord Reynold, seen here ushering yet another by-election victor into the House of Commons ten years ago, said in a statement tonight he was considering suing the Liberal Democrat Party in a civil action. And some of his allies say the party's tearing itself apart. But at the moment, both sides are threatening to go to court. Well, this is madness, total madness. And there's this great chasm in the party which is going to destroy us unless it's stopped now. Some in the leadership say they think support for Lord Renard may be reducing. But Nick Clegg's freedom of action is severely restricted in a party riddled with democratically elected committees. The Liberal Democrats are a party that doesn't believe the party leader should be able to wake up one morning, decide to do something and force everyone to automatically toe their line. And that, to you know, slightly less or greater degree, is exactly the position in you know, Labour and Tories that both of their leaders have much more power to enforce their views on their party. Within Liberal Democrats, we're much more And this is where it gets you? Indeed, there are some downsides to democracy. Some senior Liberal Democrats said they hoped friends might yet persuade Lord Renard to apologise and spare this party of reluctant enforcers from having to expel one of its most favoured sons.